my name is Rebecca Duke and I am a playwright and a journalist. I'm currently working at the Federal Parliament Press Gallery and finishing off my undergraduate studies at the Australian National University. Hi there! I'm Jamie Hornsby. I'm from Adelaide, South Australia, on Ghana land. I'm a multidisciplinary artist, so playwright, performer, photographer, composer, everything in between sometimes. And I'm really focused on making work that has something to say about where we've come from and where we're going. Um, but above all, stuff that's just a really entertaining, fun time. Hey, I'm Anna, and I'm coming to you from Victoria. I'm a theatre maker and a playwright, and I often like to experiment with different ways to combine text with visual and sensory experiences. My play is called Wonderkins and it's about a little girl called Connie who figures out she's a child art prodigy and her life spirals out of control into something that she doesn't want and she'll do anything to get her old life back including pulling off a million dollar art heist at the National Portrait Gallery. So my proposed play is called Bonecracker Flamekeeper and it's about a group of young people who might be at the beginning of humanity and might be at the end of it. We're not quite sure. And it's about these people as they're trying to construct a new set of cultural myths. They're trying to understand their place in this strange, fractured world that they found themselves in. And then a young man in a clean white suit shows up and he says he has all the answers and he can tell them exactly what's been going on. And so, these people have to decide, what are they going to do with these new answers? And what are they going to do with him? Hmm? My proposed play is called 748. 748 explores the lives of nine young employees who realise that they're overworked, underpaid, that time has completely frozen, and that they're trapped in the KFC in which they all work. It's kind of like a surreal, punk, comedy, exploring the nature of work in the lives of young people. My play is for young people in years four to seven, so I wanted to explore themes that were really pertinent to them and their lives. It explores identity and having labels forced upon you that you don't think fit you or you're not ready to take on. I was also really conscious of the fact that it would be commissioned by a Canberra-based company. So I wanted to write something that Canberra kids would feel like they could take ownership of. And that's why I wanted to set it in a big Canberra milestone so they could say, oh, I've been to that place and I know that place and this play belongs to me. So the piece is obviously very heavily inspired by myth and folklore from around the world and also from what I hope is going to be a really collaborative and interesting communal myth-making process throughout the development of the piece with the young actors involved. But also from climate crisis and catastrophe and disaster and the sense that sometimes a bone has to break before it can be mended and that sometimes it's not until everything falls apart that we begin to see a way forward. So that should be really fun. I was inspired to write this play from working a lot of hospitality jobs where I started to think about the way that work affects our relationships with one another and also our relationships with power and authority structures. Youth theatre generally is so important to me because it has been there since the very beginning of my writing practice. It has been patient with me, it has celebrated my wins, it has consoled my losses and it's told me to try again and again and it has developed me from somebody with an interest in writing to somebody who has skills and who has a style and an actual fully realised playwright. I wouldn't be the writer I am today without youth theatre and the programs they run. I mean, it's where I got my start. And it's where so many people I know in the arts got their start. It's a really important breeding ground for creativity and for you know, shy young kids who don't really know their place in the world and are trying to find something and find some expression. But also I think engagement with the arts at a young age doesn't just make really great artists for 10 years time when they become the new professionals. I think it also creates really well-rounded people. People who are alive to what's around them and empathetic and have open minds and are just excited by life. And I think that sense absolutely was fostered by my engagement with youth theatre as well. Being a finalist in the Emerging Writers Commission has been a huge milestone for me. It's given me 
the validation in my writing practice that I needed to keep submitting to commissions and to keep submitting to prizes and know that I actually have a chance and that I'm going somewhere with my writing and people are acknowledging it and thinking that it has potential. It's so incredibly exciting. It, it's, I'm so inspired right now by this project and by the possibilities of what could be, but also just the chance to come and meet all of you lovely people and my fellow finalists and have a good old yarn about writing and theatre and art and life. So yeah, I'm very grateful to Canberra Youth Theatre for the opportunity. Being a finalist for the Emerging Playwrights Commission has given me the confidence that this idea that I've had for a play um, that's been swimming in my brain for a little while is relevant or interesting or exciting for other emerging artists and that they'd be interested in working to develop and explore these ideas further.